Well, the latest rain simply overwhelmed the Ventura River. When Sharon joined Disney's upstart Los Angeles news operation KCAL in 1990, she became widely recognized as one of the few Japanese Americans working in local TV. She received multiple awards for her coverage of the 1992 L.A. riots, where she tried to find bright spots in the devastated community. Sharon Ito has the story of a couple who wouldn't let the violence ruin their wedding plans. Live from Channel 31, Sharon Ito. Sharon returned to her hometown of Sacramento in 1993 as an evening anchor at Channel 31. Hello, I'm Sharon Ito. Later, moving over to KXTV Channel 10 in 1996. Sharon's parents, Tomio and Shirley, spent part of their childhood in U.S. government concentration camps during World War II. Along with their parents and 120,000 other people of Japanese ancestry. One year ago, in a family visit to the Japanese American National Museum, Sharon formally acknowledged the many relatives who lost nearly everything. 84-year-old Kiyo Sato heads out of Sacramento. Throughout her career, Sharon's fought to keep the memory of that grave injustice alive. Earlier this year, Sharon presided over the dedication of a mural honoring what was once a vibrant Japan town in the heart of Sacramento, devastated first by the war, then later completely crushed by what the city called redevelopment. Kampai! On a happier note, Sharon emceed the dedication of a new Hanami line along the Sacramento River in Robert T. Matsui Riverfront Park. Ready, one, two, three. The ribbon proudly cut by Matsui's widow, Congresswoman Doris Matsui. Sharon serves on the board of the Buddhist Church of Sacramento and actively participates in events honoring the Japanese culture. Last year, she organized a visit to meet, for the first time, her family's relatives in Hiroshima, including three atomic bomb survivors. And we're proud that our daughter, Samantha, returned to nearby Matsuyama this summer to spend at least a year teaching English to Japanese school kids. <laughs> 